Good morning and welcome to Kids Magazines Matter. Kids Magazines Matter is a large group of publishers from the U.S. and Canada that creates kids magazines like Beans, oh, Strong, Ingredients, Mighty Kind, Story Monsters, Bazoof, and Brain Space. My name is Nikki Middleton and I'm the publisher of Brain Space Magazine. I hope you're watching this with your mom or your dad because this is for the whole family. When I was a kid, my mom kept a monster in our fridge. She did. She would sometimes bring it out of the fridge, and leave it on the counter, and it smelled kind of unusual. And then my mom would take a cup of the monster and bake with it. Really delicious things. She'd make bread, strudel cakes, buns, and she called it monster dough. Today, I'm going to show you how to make monster dough, but first, let's talk about how the monster grows. Yeast. Yeast is a living thing. It's not an animal, it's not a plant, it's a fungus. It eats sugars and it ferments, which means it releases gases just like you and I do. Now let me show you. I'm going to show you an experiment. Actually, I'm not sure that I have it. Well, let's go on. I'm going to show you what happens. Yeast grows. And this is an example of an experiment that I did that I will post on our site a little bit later while I figure out this cam. So first what I did was in a bottle, I put a tablespoon of active dry yeast, water, warm water, about a cup of water, and a tablespoon of sugar. I put it in this bottle, in a funnel, I shook it all up, and then I let it sit for an hour after I placed a balloon on it. And in here, I didn't inflate the balloon, the yeast did. The yeast released gas in the form of um, uh, carbon dioxide and ethanol, I believe. Let me make sure that is absolutely the case. I should know that for sure before I'm telling you, but I'm pretty sure it's carbon dioxide and ethanol. And it blew up this balloon. So you can try this at home. Get a small bottle, get uh, warm water, a cup of warm water, a tablespoon of yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, shake it up, put a balloon on top, and let it sit. You can make this happen at home. I will post that below. I was supposed to have this on my feed here. I'm sorry I didn't. But uh, you can give that a try later, but there's other stuff that we are going to try here. So um, let's go on. So yeast grows by dividing and multiplying, just like your cells do. And this process is called budding. And here's exactly what budding looks like. As you can see here, there are two little cells or a bunch of cells, but then, ah, look over on the right. What do you see happening? We see a cell that is dividing. And this is just like your own skin cells do, not exactly like this. But there are millions, millions of little yeast cells uh, at play here. And they will, uh, look on the left, you're seeing one of the cells there divide again. And it's actually called budding. Now, why this is important, I'm telling you this because Yeast, when it buds, it expands and it grows, kind of like if you've ever seen anybody make bread, that's exactly what happens. The bread grows and expands. Uh, so, who decided to make that yeast? And why did we decide to make bread with it? Well, an ancient civilization from the area of Jordan called Mesopotamians did. Uh, and about two years ago, archaeologists dug up a 14,000-year-old piece of bread. Eesh, toast anyone? I don't think so. Anyhow, back to the monster in my mom's fridge. We're going to make monster dough. Here's how we make it. I'm going to show you a video. I may talk over it to help you along. You're going to need two cups of flour, two cups of water, one tablespoon of active dry yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, and uh, some measuring, some mixing stuff. So you're going to need a non-metallic bowl. That is so important. So first you're gonna mix the yeast in the water. Mix 
mix it up really well. And then we're going to sprinkle some sugar on top of that yeast. Sprinkle some sugar on there. You don't have to mix it in. And then you're going to transfer your flour to a bowl. Get all that flour in there. And then you're going to take your yeast mixture and you are going to add it to that flour. And then you're going to mix it all up. I use my hands because I like to feel for lumps. You can use a plastic spoon or you can use a spatula if you don't like to get messy. And of course, I promise you I wash my, hers, my hands first, as you should too. And then we're going to cover that with a towel and we're going to leave it on a counter for four to five days. Our monster is ready to feed. See how it's separated there on the side? Now, we're going to measure out, we're going to take out one cup. There should be about two cups of dough. Take up about one cup of that dough and give that cup uh, to a friend. Now, to the dough that's left in your bowl, add a cup of water, a cup of flour, and a pinch of sugar. Transfer it to a glass container and cover it to rest on the counter for about four hours. And when you see it looking bubbly like this, that means it's ready to use. So you can either refrigerate it and feed it every 10 days, but when you do use a cup of your monster dough, you're going to feed your monster every single time. And you're gonna feed it with one cup of flour, one cup of water, and a pinch of sugar, each and every single time you use it. It's important to do that because that is called feeding your monster and it's what's going to keep your monster growing. There you go. Now, I'm not going to do some baking today because we don't have all that much time to do this and it takes a long time to bake anything with monster dough. But monster dough is a starter that you can add to most any recipe. I am going to post some recipes on our site at brainspacemagazine.com. So, Use this uh, stream on our feed to feed your monster, make some comfort comforting treats. Um, and as I said, we're going to put some recipes on brainspacemagazine.com website. Ask your questions down below. We will do our very best to answer. Thanks for joining me this morning. Check in often at Kids Magazines Matter on this page because our publishers, our collective of publishers, are going to be live streaming some really cool um, content from their magazines. Some of it is coding, some of it is health, some of it is science, like brain space. Um, so there's a lot of really great stuff to do here that's not education as much as it is entertaining for the whole family, but smart entertainment. So thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you again soon.